Hi people, Daniel from Devil and Sons Guitars here. Thanks for tuning in. You may well not have a clue that there's different types of strings, wound and unwound being the two main ones I'm going to talk about today. So I'm going to talk to you now while I show you some images that I'm taking with a magnifying video of some strings. I'm not going to look at every single different type of string, but we're going to look at the differences between wound and unwound. Most sets of strings are going to have the top three strings, the E, B and uh, G, as unwound strings, and then the lower ones as wound strings. And that's because the lower strings have to be thicker and we need to wind them. And by wound strings, it just simply means it takes the core string and winds more string around it to make it thicker. There's different ways of wrapping it, and we'll talk about those in a moment. So what you need to know is, if you're using a thicker gauge of string for all your whole set, it's very possible that that G string, the third string, needs to be thicker, and therefore it's going to be a wound string. Does it make much difference to the tone? Well, it can make a difference, but manufacturers have put their sets together like that for a reason. They thought about how they're wound, the different gauges and the materials. They've created something that they think is a sound set, and that's what you're buying into when you buy different companies' strings. Now, I've mentioned gauges in another video in, in this A to Z series, so I won't go over that now, but the gauge is essentially the thickness of the string. So when you have wound strings, it could be a round wound string, which means that the string that goes around the loop is itself round, which means that if you felt the surface of the string, it's going to be bumpy because you've got the round cross sections of the strings wrapping around it. Now that is absolutely great if you're doing things like pick slides, brilliant. But it also means you get that kind of movement on your fingerboard that picks up sometimes when you're recording. You can also get flat wound strings where the string that wraps around it has a rectangular cross section. This means it's flat and when you wrap around it, you don't get the lumps that you get in the round wound strings. And then you can get things in between like quarter and half round. Some companies even then coat their strings, which changes it completely. A coating, which is normally some form of plastic material, means that you're not going to feel necessarily the surface of the string underneath, or you might feel it slightly, but the texture is reduced. And it also means that moisture from your skin and from the atmosphere around the guitar isn't going to directly affect the string inside the coating, but that is going to change the feeling of the strings. The material of the strings changes the tone, etc. But when we're looking at wound, we're looking at flat round, round wound, or the in-betweens, quarter and half round. This means the decisions you make when you pick your manufacturers in regard to the wound or unwound is, is that G-string wound? And are they flat round or round wound? This is a hard video to make. Flat round, round round, half round, quarter round. In fact, it should be flat wound, round wound, half round wound, and quarter round wound. And I cannot say that quickly. Hey, well, thanks for watching that. I hope you found it useful. Don't forget the U here is the first letter of a well-known guitar brand. And at the end of this series of A to Z videos, I'm gonna put up a special video where I give an overview of all 26 letters and which brands they came from. So keep track of them all and keep a list of where you think they came from so you can see how many got right. It's a bit like a competition, but without a prize. Now also in this list of A to Z, I made a video about string gauge, G for gauge. So do go and check that out. Here's a link to it. It might be quite useful if you're thinking about what types of strings you want to use on your guitar, because the gauge does make a difference depending on the style you want to play and how easy it is to play. But until next time, happy strumming.